Hi, Cleo. <gasps> Hello. <laughs> Caleb Du Ballet Handler. Cleo. Oh, that's an IG picture of Cleo. <laughs> it's a pet cow. So, Michaela, tell us about what she has to do in pet stores. In pet stores. So, she just has to. We have to bring her to pet stores, but it's good to bring her to pet stores so she learns how to ignore things. Um, she has to learn how to ignore other animals, other dogs when she's working for um, people. And it's good for her to get exposure to all these different animals and smells that she smells in the pet store. We're supposed to be training the dogs how to um, use the bathroom on command. Um, we, there's a, it's, the command is take a break and they're supposed to squat and pee or do whatever they have to do. Uh, she's not there yet, obviously. Uh. Um, yeah, so it's like if you're out on town and there's like a little patch of grass and that's all there's going to be, um, then you gotta you just tell your dog take a break and they should be good for a couple more hours. So, yeah. Michaela's trying to get Cleo to sit. Cleo sat. <laughs> so, Michaela, when you take Cleo to the market, what are you teaching her? Um, we just take, we basically socialize her and make, make her comfortable in different situations. Um, so that when she gets out into the real world, well, she has um, exposure to a lot of different problems. <laughs> <laughs> now does Cleo get to pick out the girl? <laughs> Can she like hold groceries? Is that a thing? Um, she'll, you know, not right now, but she'll learn how to like, like open doors and hold stuff in her mouth like that. So what skills does Cleo have right now? <laughs> None? None, okay. Um, so Cleo knows how to like, um, she does her basic, she's been through a training class to just how to sit, lay down, stay, calm. So we're just, that's basically, we just do basic obedience with her. So she'll go back to Mississippi when she's ready and she'll take, she'll do the um, 120, 120 hours of like intense training where she learns how to um, eat a guide and do all the other stuff that I love to. Once she's done with training, she'll be able to open, do stuff like open doors, open refrigerators, um, go grab her her owner or handler, the pills they need, the water they need. Um, she'll be able to like stop for cars or like help them through crosswalks and stuff like that. And give them an independence that they've never had before. Um, so we get these dogs as puppies. A lot of people come up and asking us if they can pet them. And when they're little, it's okay because they need to get socialization and get used to people petting them. But when they're older, people aren't supposed to pet them, so they, get, they um, start to ignore people's presence so they can focus on what they're doing. Can Cleo receive treats after having a good day with good behavior? Like Cleo, today? Cleo's not supposed to have treats because they, the guide dogs need to learn how to work off of human traits instead of having to receive treats for everything that they do. Uh, this helps um, if you treat train your dogs. Usually the things they learn don't take as long as you uh, raise them and work harder and longer. How do you think Cleo will do on the exam? Um, my mom has a lot of doubts, but honestly, um, the foundation is so good with training the dogs. I think she's gonna she's gonna pass. The only thing that would keep her from passing is um, she's scared, as you can see from Petco. <laughs> um, she's a little scared to go in. She gets like really skittish around people and around dogs. She doesn't do around, well around dogs. 
Um, she's scared of like really little kids because um, they like stare at her and she's just, like challenging her. So she doesn't like that kind of stuff. So like if someone if it, like someone will just be standing still looking at her, she'll bark at them. And that's like the biggest thing she has to get over to pass. But other than that, I think she's she's a pretty good girl. My family has been puppy raising dogs for six years. Um, we chose the organization in Mississippi because they typically do a dog breed that my mom likes. Um, uh, both of our other dogs have passed and are now guide dogs in Atlanta and Michigan. And they're doing, their, they're doing well. We get um, notifications from the owners with pictures of them working and it's like really rewarding when we get those. One of the most asked questions is how do you just give the dogs up? Um, and yeah, it's really hard. Knowing that they're going to a family where they're going to work and give this person happiness and joy is like really rewarding and it like cancels out the sad and the happy. So, so when, the when the dogs are done with their training, they go back to the foundation in Mississippi and they have um, 120 hours of formal harness training where that this is where they like learn how to cross roads and do all that important stuff um, and then after this they'll go to a ceremony where they're matched with their owners and the owners spend like two weeks at the foundation learning how to work with their dogs and if they're the perfect match with their dogs um, the foundation we chose is gallant hearts and they that, that's a foundation um, it's nonprofit so everything we do we don't get paid for um, they run off of donations um, um, it's run by, um, the owner of the foundation is actually blind herself and train her dogs, the dogs she trains work for her as well. So that's really cool. If Cleo fails, we would get to keep her. The foundation just asks that, like, it's not necessary for us to give, like, money for her to pay for her or anything, but it, it's, like, nice. Um, since I put, like, a lot of money into these dogs, it's nice that we would, like, donate something when we got her. Each dog, they spend two years paying for the food, the training, the time. So each dog costs them like um, $10,000. And, yeah. $10,000 right here. <laughs> Ha ha ha.